Hey folks, how you doing again? We are um, so I'm getting ready to do the, the stain part of our deck project. We're, we're clearing off everything right now. Ooh, that's good lighting. So we're clearing everything off. Um, we got the patio furniture. We're getting the grill out of here. We got the the sanders rented, and that's fine because I'm not trying to buy a three thousand six hundred dollar sander. Anyway, we're gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna get everything set up. We're gonna finish clearing off the deck, and then we're gonna start sanding this thing. So I hope you guys enjoy. So stick around. What's up, guys? Um, so we getting ready to sand this. They they give me. I've got an Orville sander for this deck. I, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try putting this thing on. Um, the sander looks a, a lot bigger than this little sandpaper dealio. So I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. I've never put one of these on. You guys know anything about this, let me know. But. I don't have a clue. You would think it'd be pretty straightforward. Pretty easy. But my brain doesn't function like that. I like to do it the hard way. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. We're going places. I think we got it. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. We're going to give this a rip. I'm going to see what this does. It's a very sophisticated piece of equipment. Straight from NASA, I'm sure. Here we go. Okay. I don't want to be in the way of this thing. <sighs> Dust collection system. There's S, R, and O. Is that safety? Oh. Got it. Okay. I definitely don't want to be up here. I'm going to go down here. If you guys are wondering, these things weigh a ton. I rented this thing for like four hours. I figured I'd need it for about three at this rate. But uh, let's see what this thing can do. We're gonna keep chugging away. I'm gonna throw you in a time lapse and and uh, I'm just gonna rip on this and you guys just follow along. I'll sit, talk to you guys after a bit. noticeable difference isn't it look at that so we got kind of there's still some spots that need to be done big difference between here and here wow that looks that looks crazy so you can see guys this has been sanded that side is not what difference what do you think looks good it's looking a lot different isn't it yeah it looks really good so we're gonna keep running you through on a time lapse. I'm kind of excited how this is gonna turn out. So we'll look forward to seeing what it turns out as. And we'll keep giving you a progress updates as we go. So stay tuned guys, keep watching.
give you a quick update. Austin is uh, Austin still sanding away at this lower deck. Uh, we've got I don't know five boards left. Uh, we're running in this uh, rented sander. It's a it's a belt sander, drum sander style. Uh, 80 grit is what we're using on this deck. Our deck actually isn't horrible, horrible. It's just aged. Uh, this deck is about the lower deck is roughly 15 years old. This upper deck uh, was put on when the house was built 26 years ago. And uh, so we're anticipating that the upper deck is actually gonna be a little bit rougher to deal with. We do have some nails pounding down to, to continue prepping that. We're gonna check for screws again. This thing will absolutely take screws and nail tops right off. Um, so try to watch for those if you guys are using this. Um, the bagger on this thing, not the most efficient thing in the world. And uh, we really should have mask on. So safety first, guys. We're not really practicing that, sorry. So we're going to keep chugging along. If you guys are, are enjoying this series, let me know. Give me a thumbs up on this. Don't forget to subscribe when you get the option and the opportunity. We really do appreciate it. You guys have created a huge support for this channel and I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for that. Uh, keep that up. Keep up the likes, keep up the watches and the subscribes. It means an absolute ton. Thank you so much. We're gonna keep chugging away. You guys enjoy. All right, so <laughs> we have gone through two belts on a 20, how, how big was this, 22? Uh, that one was 20, this is 12. 20 and 12? So it's, it's 20 by 10 and, and 12 by 10. Um, we've got, we went through a full belt over here and you can actually see some of the spots, you know, right in a certain areas that um, didn't take very well. We're gonna go ahead and, and change out the belt before we begin the smaller deck. Um, I think we can get it completely done. And reinforcements have just arrived. Reinforcements have arrived. We've got a new belt. We're gonna change this one out um, and get a full new surface on this one. So uh, we're gonna kind of watch how Austin gets this changed out so you guys know. All right, so how this thing works, guys, is you can get that belt slid on here all the way where you need it. And then these fins, when this spins up, will give velocity. And these are rubber fins, and they'll actually expand on the sand paper itself, holding it in place while you actually do the work. So we're going to give her a crank. And we're good. We're back in business. Right, folks we are we're wrapped up we got everything sanded uh, Marcel is over here rinsing the deck off and the results are shocking our, our deck was extremely gray and green on it a lot of mildew a lot of mold and that's understandable I mean that's with time that's gonna happen um, the last time we pressure washed this it was two years ago two and a half years ago um, so that over time it builds up with a cedar deck um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna flip the camera around and continue to talk with you guys, but this is beautiful, beautiful wood. And so we've got just an astounding look for the cedar, it's beautiful. Um, Marcel is working on just rinsing everything off right now. And as she works up 
to this next section. Watch the transitions. So Marcel just pointed out that this this is cedar is different, um, different wood than this one. This one's got a gets a lot more weather to it, so it's a little more aged. This one we were able to really flat sand really well. So both platforms are just beautiful. We've got a lot more. We've got some more sanding to do along the edges, um, our steps here along the sides of our deck to clean up completely. Uh, but the base is done. So step one. Or step two, excuse me, is finished, and we're gonna bring you guys along for the next. Uh, it sounds like to be two more steps in getting this project finished. So I appreciate you guys following along. Uh, this has been extremely satisfying. I mean, what what a beautiful transformation! Went from a gray deck, greens, mold, mildew, into something that's stunning we're not going to go with a dark stain we're actually going to go with a light or gray stain um, we've done a couple little test patches we're not totally sold on it color yet uh, we did pick up a, a bit of a it's not a gray but it's kind of a chocolate mocha and uh, we're not sold on that um, the siding that we're going to get for the house is going to be gray with a white trim we want to try to match that however as beautiful as this wood is we may just completely can contrast this and, and just clear it out. So guys, thanks you so much for sticking around through this whole transition. A lot of time lapse involved. There's a lot of work that is just gonna bore you guys to death. So I just kind of sped things up. Guys, so thank you for sticking around. Appreciate you guys. Keep an eye out for the next step of this whole phase. And I appreciate you guys sticking around again. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys next time.